Okay, here we gotta talk about a little about what I should say. Stupid plant thing. What I should say, movie releases. Now, I, I was trying to figure out when the 25th anniversary of Titanic was being released. And if it was being released here. Since it's a worldwide thing that's gonna, gonna be coming out the starting of, or during February 10th of 2023. So I was trying to figure this out. I, I, I don't understand. You know, I know these people know months ahead of time when they're going to release a movie somewhere. It's not like it takes a couple weeks before to confirm it. Um, the problem I look at in my local IMAX is that there's a lot of things coming up about the week after this whole thing and, the, and after that. So, if they don't release it right on February 10th, I don't think it'll make it to my IMAX and therefore... Um, at that point, I think I'm better off just watching it at my house on my 3D television or my 3D projector. The reason why I say that is, is because um, I find it pointless to watch any of this at a local regular cinema. Um, and I, I don't think it's, if it works out that way, I don't know if I'll do that. I, I just don't feel like a regular cinema is going to give me much better of an experience. Um, real 3D. I can't even remember if I ever used real 3D real 3D glasses before. I've always went to the IMAX for everything. Because for the extra money, you have to spend extra money for real 3D, by the way. You don't just walk in there and, oh, they just give it to you a regular price. 3D movies are extra at the regular theater, so you're right near the IMAX price anyways. You might as well get the IMAX. I have no idea what's going to happen. I just looked it up now. There's some locations. There was um, some museum, aeronautical museum or something that was in Fort Lauderdale they were having it in on the 10th of February. They were having it in another country, Belgium, I think it was, the second time around. So um, there's different locations that's going around. I understand that, but it would be nice if they just let people know more of it ahead of time. Just, just to know. Now another thing is, this is actually a remaster. I think it's supposed to have... Four times the quality of the last remaster that was in theaters, I think was in 2012, when I went to um, the IMAX to see Titanic last. So, that has to be um, one hell of um, it has to be one hell of a picture to look at. Plus, it's 3D. You know, James Cameron's movies seem to be some of the only movies I've been seeing in 3D. I might be wrong, there's an Ant-Man or Wasp movie coming out. I'm not going to go crazy over that stupid shit. Uh, I might buy it when it comes out, but I'm not going to go to the theater. I told you, I don't go to the theater for anything anymore. Just some of my favorite classic movies. You know, I'm a big 007 fan, too. When Gold and I made it to the theater because of the pandemic, I didn't go see it. Someone took a picture of me for uh, on the screen for me for a second. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not recording it or anything. And they showed me when they went, it was the Golden Eye movie, the quality wasn't that great. So what you're doing for a lot of these old films is going back to the theater to look at the exact same quality as you would right in front of your TV at your house. If they're going to do that, that's stupid. Just watch it at home. And, and you're onto your own comfort. You don't have to pay for extra snacks and all that other crap. Now, I also understand this is a limited release. That's one thing they don't put in the title for Titanic, is limited release, meaning it's not going to be there that long. A week, maybe two, probably going to be a week. So, um... If you have to watch it in that time span, or else. The one good thing about it is, if I do miss a weekend show, chances are I could go during the week. Well, not chances are, I can definitely go during the week. Um, that's something I can do if I have no choice, though. But um, I'd rather go to the weekend show, like I went to Avatar. Hell, if I can get to the Avatar, which was a show people went crazy for and completely sold out, if I can get a tickets to that ahead of time... I can most certainly get to Titanic. Just gotta find out when it comes out. This, this hasn't told me yet. You know how many months? I knew this was coming to theaters for months now, and there's no news. They leave people hanging. James Cameron shouldn't allow this to happen. He should have set, he can give the set dates, but at the same time, he should give the set locations. Now, I don't know how many IMAX locations there are. Let's see if this will give it to me. Sammy's always too dumb. How many IMAX locations are there in the United States? Here's what I found. Here's what I get. IMAX GT laser projector. Nothing what I asked for. So, can't, it's not capable. More than 1,700 IMAX theaters. 
in more than 80 countries. So that's not a good thing. I heard, I heard there was only a select amount domestically. So if that's the case, it might not even come nearby. How did they decide what part of the country would more likely watch Titanic than another part? That's what I want to know. How would they know for sure? I'm trying to figure that one out too. They have to have some demographics or polls that they take. But I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it'll be everywhere. I don't know. Um, I'm just asking the movie theaters and all these other people out there to really let people know when these releases are. Not just the dates, but the actual locations. What good is knowing something's going to come out on the 10th if it's not going to come out where you are? If you go to the IMAX charm right now and look up the Providence County area where I am, there's nothing. Nothing even remotely close. It doesn't even show up on the radar. That's far away it is. So that's more than 50 miles away. Nothing. Um, I'm not going to travel 50 miles to an IMAX. Just like someone who was idiotic enough to give me a gift card to the AMC theater a long time ago. Even though the, the, the nearest AMC theater was like 30 miles away from my house. That's kind of idiotic when the showcase is like 5 minutes. So <laughs> that shows how much people take into consideration. Um... So we'll see what happens. There's nothing like an IMAX. And no matter what seat you sit in inside the IMAX, you always have a great view. You can be all the way in the end and you can still see everything perfectly fine. Not like the showcase where if you sit in the wrong spot, forget it, the movie's ruined. And um, the only thing I think that would be pretty bad to sit in for a spot might be the um, very front of the IMAX. That applies to the showcase too. If you sit right in front of that theater, Forget it. I mean, you could probably have so, so many problems with watching the film and all that. But the 3D effect, I think, would be the same. Because the, the whole place is designed to basically accommodate you no matter where you are. Uh, let's hope. I think it'll happen soon, but I don't know. There's no way to tell anything. If it keeps snowing, I'll be able to do my outdoor video today. Alright, bye-bye.